Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And uh, today I want to talk to you about a topic that is that is a little bit more uh, serious and not as superficial, if you want, um, as the previous topics that I've been talking to you about. And uh, the reason why I want to talk to you about winter depression is because there are some uh, things that you can do to prevent it and maybe you know prevent it to to get as bad as it usually do. And, uh, but you have to start to do the things that I'm going to talk about um, right now so that you can prevent um, the depression to get um, to its fullest, if you will. And um, I go to school right now and I'm studying um, social studies and I have one year left. And uh, so I actually know a lot of, about this um, topic because we have uh, some psychiatry classes and stuff like that. So. And uh, I also know winter depression firsthand because I'm suffering from it, and I've been suffering from them, from depression for a lot of years, ten years or something like that. So I really know what I'm talking about. And um, I've tried pills, you know, the happy pills, but uh, I don't know, my body just doesn't adapt to them very well. And this is also one of the things um, that I wanted to talk to you about because not everybody can can have the, the pills and get better with them. Many people also suffer from very, very big um, side effects. So if you're one of those and or you just don't want to take pills, um, then there are some things that you can do about it. And these things is actually something that I do as well. All, the, all of the five things I'm going to talk about is something that I do to prevent it. So let's just go right ahead and start. Um, I will just say one thing. Um, there is a difference bef um, between depression and winter depression because um, depression, all, all in all, overall depression, is something that it's it's a mentally Ill, Ill, it's a mental illness. There you go. So while winter depression has a cause, it's also of course a chemical reaction in your brain due to lack of sunlight. So there you go. There is a little bit of a difference. So one of the things that I do, and I'm going to start in about a week's time or something like that, is lamp light therapy. And basically, you can buy these lamps um, in different styles and, uh, you know, they don't. you don't have to buy one that really looks like lamp therapy. You can buy them fairly small and uh, you sit uh, with the light on for about an hour every day and you can do it while, you know, checking your mails or reading a book or something like that. And uh, the lamp simulates daylight, basically, and since this is the reason for why people get winter depressions, this is a very good thing for you. So this lamp light therapy thingy is like one of the best things that you can do to prevent getting the, uh, a, a big depression out of it. So this is definitely something that you should try to look into before getting pills and stuff like that, because it's a very little investment um, to make in order to not suffer from tiredness and you know moodiness and stuff like that so this is really something you should look into another thing that is very very important is your sleep rhythm obviously if you have winter depressions you know that you do tend to sleep a lot and uh, it, it doesn't have to be necessarily in the night usually I if I don't do anything about it um, sleep during the day and at night I just can't sleep at all but this is a very very and this is a very vicious circle and once you have the depression it's very hard for you to to turn it around therefore already now start to go to bed at one specific hour and and you know get up in the morning at the one specific hour as well so you get like nine nine hours of sleep every night and that's it don't sleep during the day and start this uh, routine and be very strict about it already now and um, when it's going to get a little bit more darker and colder you will um, see some results because the sleep is very very important also because it helps um, you know prevent every all the hormones stress hormones and stuff like that from um, getting generated in your body so Sleeping gets you happy and relaxed, so that's a good thing. Another thing that is very important is exercise. I'm sure you've already heard these um, tips before, but I just can't, I just have to like say them one more time because it's so important. 
because what happens when you get depressed? Well, you don't get any endorphins or all the other um, hormonal um, active thingies in your brain. And uh, since you can't get them from the daylight, you want to get them from something else. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of, 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 a, ter of a term called runner's high, but it's actually when you exercise, um, yeah, you get happy. That's it. You get happy. A lot of hormones called endorphins um, go around your body and makes you happy and relaxed and everything that you want to be and uh, you don't have to like be an athlete and run and stuff like that if you you know just just follow your own um, fitness level if you aren't that fit you can just walk take half a day or I'm sorry half an hour every day to walk if you are very athletic then maybe you should run or you know um, do some exercise either at home or with a friend or you know just stuff like that but just do um, stay active and if you're not active start being active this is not only for you know for 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 a healthier body but it's also now for the depression because what we have to do is get as many endorphins as and and as many you know happy hormones um, going through your body as possible this is what we lack during the winter and therefore we have to get them back in, at any means and exercise and sleep is one of are a few of the things that you can do to get yourself um, happier. Another thing um, is fresh air and daylight. So even though the weather is super crappy, just you know, force yourself to get out and be out a little bit. Um, maybe you have a dog, then go and walk it um, every day du during daylight. And even though the sun isn't shining, um, the sun rays still uh, penetrate the skies and give you you know the same feeling as uh, as if it was a sun sunny day so try to get out if you work and you can't then just do it in the weekends but just try to um think of the daylight as something very very resourceful and try to be there as much as possible i do um try as well when i can to you know just go out with the dogs even though it's a crappy weather i give them their little raincoats on and myself and then i'm off even though i don't want to because it's just so important um there's also one thing else um that is also very very important and that is to have a good support system i know that some people are very ignorant when you tell them that you have that you suffer from winter depressions they don't really understand what that means and uh just try to keep the people that um, that understands you, that understand you very very close to you, and uh, the ones that you don't really feel are um, supportive. Just try to like keep away from them because you don't need anybody telling you that you're lazy and tired and uh, good for nothing and stuff like that. You really don't need it. It's hard enough as it is. Um, another thing that I find very very useful for myself is finding a hobby. I know it's just very um, basic stuff that I'm telling you, but when you are depressed you don't really have that many things that you get excited about. I don't know, but I don't know about you, but when I'm depressed I just want to sleep and be left alone. But if you start to have a hobby right now, maybe it's going to be easier for you to get up the get up every morning and you know just do something that that you find very very happy. Also because if you do things that that makes you happy, you'll get happy. So there you go. And it, it doesn't really have to be something crazy like you know night clubbing every weekend or anything like that. I know that you don't have that much energy. But knitting or painting or I don't know, collect stamps if you want. Um, but just do something that makes you happy and um, that you can focus uh, on a couple of nights or a couple of evenings every day or every week. And uh, yeah, maybe that is going to um, get you going a little bit because it's very important to get, get, give yourself um, some things to do that you like. It's very important. And... Um, Another thing, I don't know, I'm, don't judge me, this is just basically scientific that what I'm telling you, so don't shoot the messenger, but um, orgasms are also very good for you. So, And this is a good thing because you can do it whether you're um, single or in a relationship, but I'm just telling you, this is just basic science. Orgasms get, get, you know, get you happy and uh, relaxed. 
So just go ahead, full speed ahead, and uh, do it as much as you can, and give yourself some joyful moments in life. And uh, yeah, this is also one of the things that I definitely think that you should do. Um, I practice it and it works. So yeah. And uh, if there are some of these things that you can use, I'll be just very happy. If there's something you'd like to ask me or something like that about um, winter depression, just go ahead and uh, email me or comment me below and um, I'm going to try to answer you as, as, as good as I can. So yeah, there you go. Five, six, was it six or five? I don't know, but five um, easy, simple and very effective ways to help yourself to ease your winter depressions. But you have to start now, as I said, because if once you go into the state of winter depression, it's going to be very hard for you to motivate yourself to like exercise and stuff like that. Um, so, so just think about it already now and start um, making some plans for yourself to cope with it. And hopefully you'll have a very pleasant winter with a lot of fun and cozy moments instead of, you know, the depression. So yeah. Okay, that's it. Thanks you very much for watching.